Hey gang, it's the Reluctant Chef. Today we are making swordfish. I have never made swordfish, so disclaimer here. So we're gonna try something new. We've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. We have our 12 inch cast iron skillet, which is very hot. It's actually a little too hot at this point because I was prepping before you guys got here and now it's steaming. So I'm gonna just take it off the burner for a second. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, put a little oil in the cast iron 12 inch skillet. We're gonna put a little bit of salt and peppercorn on our swordfish filet. And then we're gonna go ahead and sear it for about three minutes per side. Um, and then we're gonna stick it in the oven. And then while that's cooking for a little less than 10 minutes, I am going to make a butter, lemon, and garlic compote. So then once you do with this, is when the swordfish comes out of the oven, we're gonna let it sit and rest just like you would let a, um, a steak rest. And we are gonna swirl the butter, the garlic, and the lemon around in the pan, and we're gonna pour that over the swordfish right before we serve it. So um, let me just add a little bit of olive oil now into the pan. We'll heat that up. So when you're using a wok, you want your oil to go around the outside edge so that it heats up as it comes down to the center of the wok. Um, you don't need to do that with a, um, a cast iron skillet. We have the 10 inch, the 12 inch, and coming out in October, we are going to be having the enameled cast iron. So uh, be sure that you ask for the, um, the interactive catalog link. I'd be happy to send it to you. So if you want to see the catalog, like it turns pages like you're holding it in your hand, just send me a private message and say, catalog link, please, and I'd be happy to send it to you. Um, so I've got a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, one of my favorites is our Help With Cancer, or not Help With Cancer, our um, Feeding America utensils. So there's a set of these. There's the pasta fork, the spoon, um, and a scoop. And these all are part of a donation that when you, I'll have to set my little timer here. When you um, purchase a set, 10 meals goes to Feeding America. So it feeds the hungry in your area based on the show that we're adding it to. So if it's a link for somebody that lives local to Concord, then it would go to the Friendly Kitchen here in Concord. So it's a great thing. You're getting something for yourself. Pampered Chef is donating to, donating to Feeding America. And every dollar that you round your order up when you place an order with Pampered Chef, that goes to Feeding America as well. So you can round up $1, $3, $5, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna now use our one cup prep bowl. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic cloves in here. And um, we're going to add some zest of a lemon. And we're gonna use our microplane adjustable um, grater for that. And so anytime that you're using a, um, a lemon, a lime, or a clementine for a recipe, if you're not needing the zest for um, the recipe that you're using, I recommend that you go ahead and zest it and freeze your zest so that you can use it again later in um, a baking recipe or a cooking recipe like this. Because the zest, as long as you don't get into the white pith, is really, really um, flavorful. So you'll see that um, by holding it in this direction, I can zest the entire lemon I'll use what I need in my recipe here, and then um, I can freeze leftovers if I have it for that. So again, I'm doing a new recipe tonight. Never made swordfish before, but it looks good in the grocery store, and it was one of those spontaneous purchases. I'd love to hear from you what is a spontaneous purchase for you guys in the grocery store. Have you ever been walking around deli counter, fish counter, maybe one of the middle aisles, and just picked up something that you've never had before? So um, comment below. I'd love to hear that. And if you are in my um, virtual party, what I want to hear from you guys is um, the keyword swordfish. That's it. And that gives you 25 bonus points into our door prize. So I am going to shut off now because I have uh, rest to take care of here. But I will see you guys online. I'll take a picture of the finished swordfish. Oh, by the way, it's going to go in the oven, 400 degrees. We're going to check it at five minutes after I flip it. And then it says to cook for 10, but I, I read a lot of reviews that 10 might be too much depending upon how thick your swordfish is. So we're gonna test it at five, and if it's not flaky, we'll leave it in a little longer. So if you have a great swordfish recipe, like a blackened swordfish or a Cajun swordfish that you like, 
post it below. I'd love to hear if you guys have cooked swordfish before because this is my first time. So thanks for watching The Reluctant Chef. I will see you all online again.